Hello and welcome to the Car Keys office where we're gearing up for Christmas, aka time off. But before we have that break, we wanted to take a recap of this year's videos and take a look back at which ones we enjoyed the most. So, in no particular order, our camera guy and I went to Italy in incredibly hot weather to film the Mazda MX-5 derived Fiat 124 Spider, and then we got it into the office to film it in the pouring down rain. Regardless, we massively enjoyed the Spider and definitely think it's worth a second look for Mazda MX-5 fans. I also filmed the Wrangler on Mars, trapped my hand in the door of a Yaris, and got called Eddie Munster. What a shout. Speaking of the MX-5, I'll be totally honest, to begin with, I just didn't get it. I'd been led to believe that it would instantly transform my life, but for the first few days, everything just seemed a bit, eh. But then, as the week went on, particularly on the day of the shoot, everything just came together. This car is absolutely electric. I also got inside a bumblebee for the day and was let loose on the top gear track. Apparently, the cure for chronic understeer is just to go completely flat to the floor, totally flat, 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 totally flat, absolutely flat. Flat, 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 flat. The F-Pace is Jaguar's first ever SUV and impressed us from the off, ticking pretty much every box you could think of from a sporty and luxurious SUV point of view. And the Welsh roads we tested on were perfect. I think the video guys did a great job of the edit too, and so did you guys apparently, with one of you saying, sick intro for a Jag. I also test drove a £30 toy car and a £30,000 Mondeo. Vig nail. Real bucket list stuff this one, a 1,000 mile trek across the frozen tundra of Finland. There were a few brown trouser moments in the snow, but the scenery was amazing and the car wasn't half bad either. I also waited half a day for the perfect windmill shot and experienced life for the first time in 4K. Ah, Audi's orange and red supercar monster. Zero to 60 in minus three seconds and a top speed of, well, too fast. The R8 has arguably got too much performance for everyday driving unless you live in the grounds of the Nürburgring, but we love it all the same and we'll never forget that organ shifting launch control feeling. I also discovered the world's best cup holder and drove an XJ with no hands. The SDI is still my favorite thing, like, ever. I've always been a rally guy and to get to thrash the WRX STI around one of Britain's most iconic stages, unrestricted and unsupervised for a whole day was a real dream come true. That big wing makes an awesome pizza tray too. I also went through a gallon of deodorant filming the Ford Edge on the hottest day of the year and on the flip side, did I mention how cold it was in Finland? To say I was excited to drive the new Mustang is beyond an understatement. I mean, I'd grown up watching films like Bullet with Steve McQueen, praying to one day be as cool as him. Well, I went to Silverstone, burnt some rubber, literally, and finally got to act like Steve himself. I also taught you guys how to say a teka, not a tika, and went selfish stick live with Facebook. Giulia Giulia, Alpha's latest Italian stallion, which we tested in Milan. And as well as offering some blistering performance, it represents a massive step forward for Alpha interiors, which makes us happy that the stylish brand is bringing things more up to date. And we can't wait to get it in for a UK test. I also went smashing up country lanes in a big old Ford Ranger. And I also struggled with my lines for the Mitsubishi Outlander. Like, really struggled. Plenty of ones. There's lots of storage cubby holes and big storage bins. <laughs> You've also got plenty of and large so handy along with these hit <laughs> you've also got lot holes and large storage bins uh. and so there you have it some of our best moments from 2016 and we just want to say thanks to everyone who watches our videos and subscribes to our youtube channel because without you we wouldn't be able to do what we do and so from all of the car keys team have a merry christmas and a happy new year bye